Hello everybody, this is Nithy Jen. Uh, this is going to be the monthly reading for Leo for May 2019. This is for Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Please do make sure you check out your other signs for additional information and signs that just might resonate with you a little bit better. And I'm got, these readings are timeless. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. We're going to start with an overall energy. Okay, what general message or what overall energy do we have for Leo? Sun, rising, moon, and Venus from May 2019, please. Leo, 2019 of May, please. This is one of the decks that I actually edged in yellow to go along with these beautiful backs. I didn't trim this deck because it would cut into the beautiful borders. Sometimes I trim my decks because they get too large and I prefer borderless anyhow, but I'm not getting borderless with this deck. Okay, what messages do we have for Leo? May 2019. Okay. I'm just going to Pick a card here. Okay, this is the Queen of Keys. Okay. And I see her looking out over her kingdom. Okay, she's so she is like the Queen of Pentacles. She's very abundant. She's the mother archetype. She's a smart businesswoman. And she represents her way like she's working her way up to the top. She's climbing the ladder, climbing the ranks. She's, she, she's abundant in love. She's good with her finances. She has a nice bank account is what I'm being shown. And this is the overall energy for Leo. If you're not at this point yet, you're on your way there, Leo. This is just seems like it's just, this could be also somebody in your life to help you rise up. Just saying. Um, but I feel that this is more of the energy that you have to take on. You have to take on this energy. This is the businesswoman, the entrepreneur. So if you're th trying to start your own business, it is one step at a time. You have to climb the ladder one rung at a time. You are going to be going on your way up. You just have to display yourself with confidence. You have to have a self-confidence that you can do this. And you're going to be on your way up to the top. Okay? So then we're going to move on to the tarot. The regular tarot and see what it has to offer see what messages there are for Leo Sun rising Venus for May 2019 
we have a couple cards that want to come out here. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So, somebody is not feeling very confident. That's, that's why this card came out here. You have to display your confidence. This is the confident individual, man or woman, who knows their worth and knows their abundance. Okay? They have abundance in different ways. You're on your way to abundance. It just hasn't completed yet. And right now, you're feeling a lack of. Okay. And I'm being told that you need to display a little bit more confidence. You are Leo. You are king of the jungle. Okay. You have, you have to bring that Leo quality out. Go after what you want. I, I don't know where this is coming from, but I'm just being told this. You have to go after what it is that you want. Okay? And it is crossed by judgment. Okay? So, what I'm feeling like is you're trying to revive something. There's, a, there's decisions that have to be made that you have that you you're not making right now and I'm also being told in regards to relationships you have to know your worth and that's what this is about not knowing your worth you have to I'm trying to think of the right word um, revive your spirit Okay, um, you feel like you're being judged, I'm also being shown, and the bottom part, the bottom, the, is, here's the chariot, and it is in the upright position, so there is something, this could be travel, but this is taking control of your life. If, if I feel like there's a force behind the scenes driving the situation, I'm feeling like you're being called to find, dig deeper into your spiritual self, into your soul. Okay, this. Um, but transportation, whether this could be a physical transportation, this could be spiritual transportation. This is also about victory okay success this card is also about success success is around the corner and going into May we have the five of cups reversed so I feel like this is coming out of a period of, of regret a period of sorrow and then but you're still just not quite there you still have some spiritual work, I feel, to do on yourself. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, the Queen of Wands, this is you, Leo. This is a fire sign, and she's in reverse. Okay, so outwardly, you are not displaying your full potential. You, you are at a point you're still struggling to find your drive, Leo. You're still struggling to find your drive. You're at the, you're going to be at the beginning of coming out of your sorrow, and you and but you need to drop the regrets. Any regrets? The past is gone. You can't change it. You there's still a lot of work here with this card. Nine of Pentacles reversed and the judgment. You still have a lot of work to do spiritually. You still are not seeing your self-worth. And this card is about self-worth also. It's knowing that you are worthy, knowing your self-worth, that your self-esteem. We have the 
Eight of Swords. This is a mental trap. Okay? So, you're trying to get out of the sorrow, but you're still in this mental trap. Midway through the month, it's about finding your way of escaping. You have... This trap was created within your mind because of past circumstances that you need to let go of and let spirit have and the universe have control. You need to work on yourself. That's the key. The key is working on finding your confidence and your self-worth. That is the key to May, to success. High Priestess. This is seeking spiritual guidance. Okay, so you're, you're, you're here seeking spiritual guidance. You're being called to tap into your intuition. This and this is screaming spirit. It's spirit having control. You need to let control. Go, you need to leave, let go, let go of control. Okay. You need to w really work on yourself spiritually. I can't say that enough. It's just spirit is driving that point home. There might be some things that are hidden to you. Okay. There's probably some things that you don't know about. And the situation requires patience. Temperance is also about healing. So there's a lot of self-healing that you have to do. Healing in the in your environment. Okay. These don't all fit on my table right within my camera view. So there, there, it's about healing, healing yourself, finding that balance in your life, finding that balance in spirit. You are divinely guided. I look at the angel wings here. There's angel wings here. There's angels everywhere. There's angels around you guiding, okay? So again, it's about balance and guardian angels are in your environment trying to lead you and you have to open up and hear their messages okay in addition to that it's gonna it, it's gonna require some patience and I know you've been patient long enough but more than just patience, the healing keeps coming into my mind. The healing of the past and finding who you are, finding your self-worth. I keep hearing self-worth, self-esteem. This is a blockage of messages. This is somebody waiting on messages. It is coming up in the reverse. Okay. The page of cups, it, pages are in the messengers. And this is messages of love. He's got a fish in the, his cup. And this is also about self-reflection. But it's reversed. It's like messages of love blocked. And being that this is in the advice, this could also be intuitive messages. So, brings me to my next point. Somehow you're blocking out the messages. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's because it's messages you don't want to hear. I'm not sure.
You could also be looking for messages from a person instead of from spirit. And we have the six of pentacles in reverse. This is stop putting your energy into something or into an area that is not worthwhile. Okay. There's, there's a situation from the past that needs to be healed. You were burned. You were hurt. Plain and simple. Okay, I'm listening to spirit right now. And whatever the situation was that you were involved in, it knocked you down a few pegs. It really took your drive away. It took your ambition away. That put out that fire. And spirit is calling you and saying it's a time of healing. You have to be patient with yourself. Stop getting frustrated with yourself. You have to be patient with yourself. So once you let go of the regrets, once you let go of the disappointments, I mean truly let it go. I'm not just saying, okay, I'm letting it go. If it keeps recurring, if it, if it keeps playing in your mind, you haven't let go of it. I'm talking about truly letting it go. This healing cannot happen until you do. Once you let go, this block is going to go away, I feel. And you have to stop putting energy into things that are not worth it. Stop giving out. Give, 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 give. And not reciprocating. Not getting anything back. This is somebody who is also pay, robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm seeing it, I'm, I am seeing some financial issues here. A part of it is because you lost, you don't have the drive yet. You're, I know, I do see where you're working on it. You're starting to let go. But as we move into where we are, this is from where you're coming from, starting to let go of shit. You get here, there's still a part of you hanging on, there's still a part of you mentally trapped. Okay? Those ropes on the woman are loose. You can you can break them, you can cut them. Just saying. But it starts with letting this go. That's the biggest issue. Letting this go and finding yourself and finding that self-worth and healing yourself. I just show you can't move forward until you do this. This is seeking advice. Um, it could be spiritual advice. Talking to somebody, a spiritual person who can offer and help you find your way out of this tr mental trap. Okay. Um... I'm going to throw out some more cards. Wish fulfillment. You can have your wishes come true. Those cups starting to fill up with the different things that you want in life. Once you get out of this mental trap, We have the sun card. Here's your card, Leo. One of your cards reminds me of a Leo. 
The sun is going to shine again. It could start in May. Just saying. If you've dropped the past, drop the hurt, drop the regrets, drop the anger and disappointment, drop the bitterness, raise your vibrational levels, and everything you wanted will be at your fingertips. You'll climb that ladder of success. But it starts with working on self. And stop being so defensive. That's another thing from spirit. This is the wounded warrior. Upright. And then he comes out of the battle and he's preparing for the next battle. If you're looking for a battle, a battle is going to come to you is what spirit is telling me. Reverse or look at it in a new way. Change your perspective. Stop saying to yourself, okay, what's, what's next going to be? What's going to be thrown at me next? What's the next battle? That is called negative energy. Celebrating your success. Pull away from the negative thoughts. This is the negative energy. And you need to reverse that. Instead of what's the next bad thing is going to happen, what's going to be thrown at me next, you need to embrace it with, I can't wait to see what happens next. Turn it into a love and positive outlook. And that is coming directly from spirit. Okay? Okay. So that's what Spirit has to say for you for this month of May of 2019. So um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. If you'd like a personal reading, please do see the description box below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you later. Bye.